I am so excited about Candle Keep Mysteries getting ready to come out that I had no choice but to craft about it. Let's go. It's Thursday, my name is Garmin, and that means another episode of the Storycraft Society, and this week, we are going to be talking adjacent to Candlekeep Mysteries. And what I mean by that is I have literally no idea what this book is gonna be about other than books are involved, there is a library fortress. If that's not the coolest sounding thing I've ever heard in my whole life, I don't know what is. And then there's some kind of mysteries. Yeah, there's mysteries in there too. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that I'm very excited. I can't wait to get my hands on this book. And therefore, it came out of me the only way that I knew how, which is to craft about it. Basically, the only thing I could come up with that made me feel like I was honoring this book and my excitement for it was to make some bookcases. This week's craft is not gonna be all that complicated. I don't think this is one of the best things that I've ever done, but I'll tell you, it was really fun to make. It's a really nice little piece to add to your table. I don't know, I don't have anything else to say. Let's start talking about it. So to start this project off, I was gonna be making the main bookcase structure out of craft sticks. Now there's a couple of reasons that I would do this, but the main one is with craft sticks, they are just going to be a little bit more durable than foam when they're cut this thin. I prefer to work with foam in almost all other cases, but here, it's easier to work with the craft sticks. So we're gonna be starting with two different types. We're gonna be starting with what they call the jumbo, which is really just an 11 16 inch wide craft stick, and then a regular craft stick, which is 3 8 inch. Now I drew up this handy cut chart just so that everybody who would want to follow along with me and work on this project could see exactly what I did. Just look right here, make those cuts, and uh, you'll have everything that you need. Now, my humanity really came out in this project because I made two major mistakes when drawing up my blueprints and plans and cut lists and all that stuff. The first mistake was that I realized that the middle shelf is not supposed to set at three quarters of an inch, it's actually supposed to set at seven eighths of an inch on your side pieces. Moving on to my second mistake, in the cut list I said that you needed to cut five of the three eighths craft sticks to inch and a quarter, but that's actually not right. You only need two of them to be inch and a quarter because the three inner shelves actually set in an eighth of an inch skinnier. So you actually need to make three of the three eighths craft sticks an inch and an eighth instead. So I made that correction on my cut list and now we're ready to move forward, start gluing this thing together. One major benefit to working with craft sticks is actually you get to use super glue, which is a lot faster drying than dealing with something like, you know, PVA glue. And it's also nicer than having to work with hot glue, where hot glue can kind of bubble out and make a mess and it's hard to clean up. So I'm definitely happy when I get to work with craft sticks just because I get to do a lot more with super glue. Right, so that's when I said, if you like the content, you should like and subscribe. And maybe comment. Yeah, I know, that's exactly what I was saying. Right, that's a good idea. People should definitely do that. But what we're gonna be doing is now laying out the piece. The general layout of the piece is gonna be the entire top part made out of 3 8 of an inch craft stick, where on the top and bottom of the upper piece, it's going to be the inch and a quarter pieces. Then the shelves in the middle are going to be the inch and an eighth pieces. So it'll be on the very bottom, inch and a quarter, inch and eighth, inch and an eighth, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter on top. The side pieces are then going to be the inch and nine sixteenths. Those are going to just butt into the sides with the top and bottom pieces kind of capping those. So as I put them all together, I will say it definitely was put together with super glue, but it was also put together with patience. So definitely take your time, don't rush this. And once it's all together, then you're going to take your big piece of jumbo craft stick and glue that to the bottom. The main reason that I added this was just to give this thing a little bit of support so that it stayed standing a little easier. Next, I pulled out a piece of cardstock. This absolutely can just be an old piece. I was using a piece that I used actually for DM note taking, but I cut out a little piece, and then these are going to be what make the backing for our bookcases. So I pulled out my Eileen's Tacky Glue, and I ran a bead basically all around the back, and then I just set it down into the cardstock. I pushed it in tight so that I squeezed out all of the extra, and then brushed that out so that it wasn't like gumming up on the sides and stuff, and then I let that dry. Once that's all done, then you can take a craft knife and just trim off all of the excess. I find that this actually works a lot better than trying to trim the cardstock before you glue it on. This is just so easy to just run your knife around all the edges. 
and you're done. All right, so with the bookcase all finished, it is now time for us to start thinking about painting it. Now, I will say that in the mail recently, my better half got her Instant Colors Kickstarter stuff from Scale 75, and I have not had an opportunity to use these paints yet, and I was very excited. So I pulled out the crate, I flipped it open, and I found a nice brown. The one that I decided to use was Endurance Brown, and I'm going to use this to basically stain all of my craft sticks and the paper. Now this is by design. There's a reason I'm not using regular craft paint. I find that either the contrast paint from Citadel, and obviously the Instant Colors worked just as well too. It almost feels like it stains the craft sticks more than just makes paint set on top. Now I've gotten this kind of effect using basic craft paint before. You just have to water it down a lot. But what I find is that the basic craft paint gives it kind of an even flat coat that just looks like one color where for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just I'm crazy or what, but in my experience, the contrast paints and the instant colors, they seem to stain it so that it looks like real stained wood instead of paint on top of wood. I don't know, but that's what I used and I am super pleased with how this result came out, both with the color and with the application of the paint. But honestly, I can say the instant colors and the contrast paint in my experience in this application seem to go on just the same. Time to move on to the tedious part of this project. This was the part that I was the least excited about and for good reason. What I needed to do was make the books to fit into the bookcases. So I'm going to say one little disclaimer. If I say bricks for the rest of this video, if I say the word bricks, I mean books. I keep talking to people about this project and I keep saying bricks when I mean books. So bricks for the rest of this video equals books back to your regular scheduled programming. I took and basically drew up another cut list of what I would want from my books. I used both foam core and XPS foam. One thing that I will say is that the measurements that I show on screen are absolutely perfect. The only thing that I wish that I would have done is made the books a little bit thinner in the thickness. Maybe I would have gone a little bit less than a 16th of an inch, up to maybe an eighth of an inch. I think that would have been a little better. The 3 16th books in thickness look a little um, cartoony, I guess is the right term. So I cut them all out and then I took a nail file and went along the edges of the ends of the books so that it would be a little bit more rounded and it wouldn't look like completely square sharp lines. The next step is just going through and finding bricks that fit appropriately into the shelves and look nice and complement each other and all that stuff. And once I would get one shelf laid out, I would then knock those bricks out onto the table, paint them up using various colors of craft paint. I just grabbed a whole bunch of some gloss, some matte, bright colors because I thought that that would probably be the most eye-catching and make them look the most interesting, but then just painted each book up let it dry, and once it's dry, it's just a matter of taking and dipping it in Eileen's Tacky Glue and then placing it into each shelf. This took a little bit of time, but it took a lot less time than I thought it would. You're saving a step because you're not doing any kind of base coating on the books because just truthfully, you don't need to. And honestly, I just kind of zoned out. And if you were doing like, you know, 10 or 12 or whatever of these little bookcases to try and make a whole library, it'd probably be a little bit more time consuming. But for me, I felt like I blew through this part of the project really fast, which is awesome. But as I glued in the final bricks, I realized that this project is done. It's just a fun little piece of scatter terrain and it was a fantastic way for me to get my excitement out when it comes to Candle Keep Mysteries. I could say a whole bunch of stuff here about the project, but really there isn't a whole lot to say. It's just a simple, easy, fun project. I got to get some excitement out. It's still another I would assume week or two off from when you all will be seeing this video, but there's nothing else I can say other than I am excited. If you like this video, definitely leave me a like down below. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're gonna be making bookcases or what you would make to get ready for Candlekeep or if you're excited for Candlekeep, what are you excited about? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That goes a long way to helping the channel out and let your friends know about this channel as well. But until next week, I got nothing else to say. I'll be seeing you. I have so many D&D &D books. 
Why am I excited for more? I don't know. I don't know, but I need it. I need the new book. I need a bad. I need a bad.